In this video, I'm gonna help you become more emotionally intelligent. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Simon, bringing you growth to support you on your entrepreneurial, your leadership, your life journey. As always, if you enjoy this video, if something resonates with you, do please hit the like button, comment below, share with me uh, what landed with you. And also, if you wanna get regular updates, do hit the subscribe button and also the little bell too. Okay, so emotional intelligence, why is that so important? Well, when it comes to our personal lives, we're gonna become happier, we're gonna become more peaceful. When it comes to our leadership and our business and our entrepreneurial journey, then that's gonna spill down through the people that we're impacting. And so the, the words are very important, right? Being intelligent about our emotions. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is asking others. You know, when you are around certain people that you trust, right? It's very important to ask the opinions of those that can give you that feedback where even if it's a little bit challenging to receive it, you still honor that person's opinion, all right? So who are some people that you could go to to get intel, right, around your habits and the things that you do to be able to support you on your journey? The next one, which is triggers. One of the best ways to get emotionally intelligent, and I talk about this thing called K. EIs, key emotional indicators, is to understand the things that trigger us. Because it's the thing that happens directly before the trigger that's important, right? It's, it's the emotion that comes up that then gets us to react, but it's what happens in that space prior to the immediate trigger. So understand that, write down the things that are triggering you. That can really help us to become more um, aware, all right? The next one, which is our self-regulation and our control. So for example, the other day I'd gone out to breakfast and I was having a great time and I, was, I went up to uh, get my food and one of the uh, people there that was a member of staff triggered me multiple times by the way that he was talking, the way he was acting, his lack of consideration. And so what I needed to do in that moment was have the self-awareness of what was going on, create space for myself to then sit back and, and look at things from a different perspective. Look from the outside in at me instead of being in it with me, okay? And then starting to act from that place. So when I created some space and space creates relaxation and a calm energy, I was then able to look at things from a multiple perspective. I had a choice of whether to go into my normal habitual pattern or whether I was going to go against that so that I could move back into the slipstream of my uh, day and having a good day by making the conscious decision to let that thing go instead of feeding into the energy that would have only taken me down a certain path, okay? I'm not saying that people don't need feedback, but in this particular situation, I noticed and I was aware of what was going on. So self-regulation and control and us having the discipline to change those habits because so much, such a big part of us, our ego, our mind, wants to feed into that negative energy instead of actually letting it go. And then we can actually be back on the path to you know, being like kind of going downstream, so to speak, as opposed to you know, trying to wade our way upstream against the flow of actually life, all right? The next thing, which is uh, relationship development. Now for introverts, this is incredibly important. Why? Because we tend to sabotage things. We tend to avoid the things that really are good for us. You know, I was speaking to someone today and uh, she said to me, you know, I don't like people, right? And so for someone that actually wants to run a business, wants to connect with people, right? Having something which is sabotaging us, our heart wants to connect, right? Our mind and our ego wants to protect. All right, so we have to be aware of these things. And so actually pushing ourselves against sometimes that resistance that we have and actually snapping through that and then being in this place of surrender because we're not trying to protect ourselves is really important. And, and then the cultivating and developing those relationships. I'm someone personally who spent a lot of time isolating myself, right? And I just came to realize 
that the more that we actually connect, the more that we take opportunities, the more that we just go into that natural flow, the more we live a happier and more full, uh, fulfilled life. All right. And so I get it. I understand it. Let me know if you're an intro introvert below, um, you know, and you have that quote unquote label. I'm a little bit, um, you know, um, you know, I have different views about the word introvert. Um, and so I'd love your perspective on that also. All right. The final one, which is self-awareness, right? This whole channel, the, the, this whole mission is to raise awareness and we've got to start to feel more. One big challenge for a lot of people, right, is they have so many things which are toxic, draining them that it blocks feeling. And when you block feeling, you can't use your compass to guide you to where you need to be. And that radically affects self-awareness because in that self-awareness, when we feel, we can start to sense all right, have that intuition into where we need to go next. Oh, that doesn't feel right to me. I'm going to move in this direction. Oh, I'm inspired by that. I'm going to dive into that. All right. So all of these things are very important when it comes to emotional intelligence. Now, if you are a leader, an entrepreneur, a business owner that wants to, um, you know, take your vibration to the next level so that you're more in flow and you can actually do things with ease, calm confidence in your business versus erratic, versus um, you know, making the wrong decisions from up here and actually creating that mind and heart coherence, check out Entrepreneur Evolution. Uh, head to modernspiritualman.com slash evolution and check out that page because well, actually one of the most powerful uh, things that people are saying and, and business owners, entrepreneurs, leaders are talking about is the energy routine that I share in that program that literally is reshaping the ways that people do business. So go check that out. Um, and also um, go to uh, Modern Spiritual Man, check out the Higher Simon section and the 35 questions is incredibly powerful to bring awareness to the things and the questions that we don't typically ask ourselves. So your ultimate success, your ultimate high performance is actually going to come from the emotional intelligence that you develop and that you dive into once you have more awareness. I'll see you in another video. Oh, and check these out to support you on your journey. Take care. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If so, hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell to make sure that you get the regular updates. Also, here's a couple of videos that may support you further in your journey. Also, head to modernspiritualman.com where you will find about my deep mission to support men all over the globe. Take it easy and I'll see you very soon.